What is going on my fellow YouTube Arenians? My name is Scrunt, and today we are back on some MX vs. ATV All Out. Now in this video, it should be episode 4 of our daily dub series, in which we obviously get a dub every single day. And today I'm actually on Las Vegas Supercross. I don't come here very often, I don't do Supercross very often, so do forgive me uh, for the speed not being, I guess, as fast as it could be. Um, I still win, obviously, but... Uh, I, I just felt like I was slow going around the track. I just, I don't know. These kids didn't really put up too, too much of a competition. Um, I think I was like 5 or 10 seconds ahead the entire time. It was pretty crazy. But either way, still got a dub, so can't really complain about that. Uh, but today I actually wanted to talk about why I race in first person, and I have been racing in first person uh, for so long. So um, I guess the simplest way to put it would be that I have bad eyesight <laughs> so I like being up close and I like being able to see like everything um, even though I sit close to the TV screen like not all the time does it show everything up close um, as if you're in like a first person view so when it comes to like third person games I really struggle with those sometimes because I just can't see <laughs> the things in the distance it's pretty bad um, but with the first person camera, I'm actually able to control the bike a lot better. I'm able to see the ruts and the lines and just when you're in first person, it, even though you're obviously not changing anything, uh, with your controller or anything like that, it definitely feels like you have more control over the bike. And I think anything else that you do in first person, whether it's a, a shooter or, you know, a car game or something like that, um, if you play in first person, you will probably have more control. It is a little difficult to get used to, though, I would say. It took me probably, like, I don't know, three or four days of just playing in first person to really kind of get used to it. And then even after that, like, I still needed some, I guess, uh, practice races with it. I don't know. I What I did was I went into series mode, and I started racing in first person, and I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And this was back when um, the lag was incredibly terrible so in first person it was even worse uh, and somehow I was I was getting dubs out of that and uh, nowadays obviously it's it's not that bad the lag is pretty minimal um, unless you have like I don't know 15 people in your lobby or something like that uh, but I would definitely give the first person camera a try because if you find yourself not really hitting those lines correctly um, not hitting those corners as tightly as you would like to or just anything that has to do with you wanting to get better I would try out first person um, because it is an easy sort of uh, fix I guess or an easy sort of improvement that you can make on yourself that really doesn't take too much time or too much effort uh, because a lot of these different like tips and tricks that I could give for becoming better at this game they would take like a lot of practice and a lot of time and it's kind of hard to explain some of them because it's just like I've learned it's like muscle memory at this point so it's kind of hard to explain that uh, but with first person uh, view I would honestly say that uh, you'd be seeing quite a bit of an improvement if you kept with it and didn't just try it for one race because obviously if you try something for one race it's not going to give you like the actual benefits that it does have um, if you do bad one race you know, especially if you go online and try this uh, for your first time, you're probably not going to do too good. Um, but if you go into like series mode or somewhere where it doesn't really matter, and uh, you have the ability to just like restart, 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 then I would definitely give it a try. Uh, you're obviously closer to the ground in this way, so you can see the lines better, uh, you can see the ruts better. Uh, you can just control your bike a bit easier because you. I don't know, it feels like you're on the bike when you're in first person, and you can really distribute your weight evenly, uh, depending on where you want it to go. It's very easy to lean in first person, and I feel like you can kind of correct yourself a lot better. Um, if you mess up a section or mess up a jump or something like that, it's a lot easier to correct yourself in first person than it is in third person. Uh, now, that's just my personal sort of opinion on that, because I've been racing first person ever since this game really came out. I think I was racing third person for like the first week or two, and then I just switched and never went back. Um, I I don't know if this is the reason why I get 
uh, so many podiums, but it definitely helps because whenever I go into third person now, I actually can't race. So <laughs> on any of these videos that I, I got like footage in the background of me in third person, just know that's me not trying and not caring because <laughs> I do very, very badly in third person. Uh, but like I said, man, it's, it's definitely worth a try because it's one of those things that, um, well, I guess it's personal preference, but I feel it would be easy to kind of learn to ride in first person, um, rather than me giving you like these different tips and tricks about leaning and stuff like that, that I feel like most people wouldn't understand just because I don't have a good way of explaining it, I guess. That's the biggest thing. What I was going to make like a top five tips, tricks video type deal, uh, for everybody who's kind of struggling in the MX versus ATV world, but man, oh man, I just don't know how to describe all the things that I do. <laughs> uh, it's difficult, but I'll definitely, like, leave in the comments below if you'd like to see something like that, because if you do, I'll definitely um, spend my time trying to make it and trying to make it sound, I don't know, good and easily understandable. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hope that you did enjoy. Peace.